In his desert world, there are lines in the sand that keep you in your place, boy or girl, man or woman. The boy knows this. Then one day, at school, a door cracks open, a chance to be another. The boy becomes Lord Krishna, he of black-rimmed eyes and mischievous smiles, of flowing fabric and dazzling jewels. Feather jauntily perched, the boy dances, feet following the basuri's call. The boy feels shiny and glittery and new. On this stage, the line blurs and the boy feels free. Unexpectedly, the boy's world shifts. A deep rift opens, mother gone, a sickness wasting her away, father gone soon after, crushed by grief. The boy is alone, alone with two sisters to care for. He aches with loss and worry, worry for his sisters, worry for his home. How will they live? Who will take care of them? Then, a hint, a glint. Krishna beckons, luminous in his silks and jewels, he of the beguiling smile and the dancing eyes. The boy has a thought, an idea, a bold idea. He wonders, can he, dare he? A gagra, mirrored and flowing, a choli, brightly patterned, gajol-lined eyes, bright red lipstick, 